Now that we have a general idea what is meant and not meant by the term entropy, we need to begin to quantify this concept. Compared to enthalpy, entropy is going to at first seem like a difficult function to understand. Although you can't necessarily bottle heat, we at least have some experience with heat and with the quantification of heat, making it feel a bit more tangible. I suppose it's perfectly reasonable, but hopefully through the course of this presentation and the following presentations, you'll begin to understand the idea that entropy, this thing we used to confuse with disorder and randomness, is actually perfectly quantifiable. Now to start, we need to understand that we'll be discussing entropy as a property of a collection of particles. Specifically, the number of ways to arrange the members of the collection in physical space and the number of ways to arrange the energies of the members of that collection. This first approach is called positional entropy. As we'll make clear with a specific example, we will describe how particular positional arrangements of the collection of particles occur with different probabilities. The second approach we'll take to entropy is a classical approach, during which we're going to be concerned with the energy of the system. This second approach we'll get to uh, more in more detail later on, but understand for now that we have two ways to think about entropy the physical positioning of particles, and then the energy of those particles. What we'll do now is turn our attention to the position of the particles and positional entropy. 